psychological testing. Well, my name is Dr. Anderson and I am a psychologist. So I do clinical psychology and forensic psychology. And as far as clinical psychology is concerned, I do a clinical diagnostic evaluations. And I offer those to the general population if they want to know if they have a mental health disorder or a personality disorder. So in every evaluation I do, I do clinical testing. And that's what psychologists do. And it's very different than therapy because I'm actually testing them to see what disorder they have. Now, typically therapists will refer clients to me to determine what a diagnosis is or a differential diagnosis. So for example, recently I had a therapist refer a client to me for ADHD and I gave this person testing and I determined they had avoidant personality disorder and because they were avoiding conflict in their life, it was giving them an underlying anxiety disorder. So I described, told the client what the solution is to the problem and instead that client actually just wanted stimulant medication which i told them well that's actually going to make your problem worse and so sometimes therapists will go on treating clients for years and not helping them at all because they're actually treating the wrong disorder or the person that's in therapy is spending all this money and they're getting the wrong treatment and it's not helpful so i would challenge everyone to get a diagnostic evaluation, especially if you're seeing a psychiatrist for medications, it's on average, the person, a person is prescribed seven different trials of medications before they get the right one. And that's because they didn't have a proper diagnostic evaluation to start with. So <clears throat> in my line of work as a forensic psychologist, I see people at different stages of the legal process where they've lost everything. They're in jail, um, they're being charged with a crime, and or they're in family court, they've gotten a divorce, or they're in CPS court, they've lost their kids, and they're court ordered to see me for an evaluation. And I do these every week. And you know what I find out? I find out a lot of things that that it's, they, these people wish they would have known earlier on. A lot of times there's a substance use disorder, there's a personality disorder, there's other disorders that haven't been treated, especially bipolar, things like that, and I get them on the, so what I do, I write a letter to the court telling the court what the right diagnosis is and the right treatment, and then it becomes court ordered. And so most of the people are very thankful to be finally getting some answers and the right kind of help. And those types of evaluations can be very expensive. Those individuals have to pay out of pocket, typically $5,000 for a court ordered psych evaluation with all the testing and treatment plan and all of that. And unless they're indigent in criminal court, then the court, the superior court will pay me or the public defender's office. But what I'm saying is it's it's very expensive to get to that point in your life to pay that amount to find out the problems you had. So I offer individual diagnostic evaluations for $500 where you can do any of the testing, unlimited testing, I don't care. I'll test you for ADHD, I'll test you for everything. I do, I pay for an interpretive analysis on every individual to get at least a 10 page diagnostic you know, interpretation that talks about any clinical disorder, or any personality disorder, and what the treatment plan is. And so $500, I know a lot of people spend way more money uh, than that on a purse or things like that. I personally never have spent that on a purse, but I have spent a lot more than that on my mental health. And so I would challenge people, especially if you're gonna go into this field of work, you will get, you will be doing these assessments on each other and you will find out if you have a certain disorder or personality disorder. And so don't wait until you're court ordered. And I see people who are 
after a DUI or after they're losing their license, like their psychologist license or their therapy license because they have some other issue they're not taking care of. A lot of times it's a substance use disorder. But people that see me early on in the process, we can at least make some course corrections. Like in mental health diversion evaluations, that's another type of evaluation I do. And it costs $5,000, but people are at risk of going to prison or losing everything. And in mental health diversion evaluations, I assess that their mental disorder played a factor and I can get them treatment instead of going to jail or prison. So in all of these cases, I meet with people and I spend extended hours with them and they're so thankful. But the point is, all of this could have been prevented. Most of the time, these individuals are on the wrong medications. Medications that are actually making them worse, like being on an SSRI causes manic episodes in people that are bipolar, or being on THC that causes these other symptoms. So I would say if you do anything this year for your mental health, invest in getting a psychological evaluation and finding out what areas you could maybe improve in. It's kind of like um, a psych eval helps you see things that are there that you just haven't been able to see before. So it's like something in your rear view mirror. You're not, you can't really see it, but someone tells you it's there. So a psychologist can help give you feedback um, and bring it into your conscious to be more aware of the problems and make some course corrections. Especially those that have personality disorders, there's specific treatment for that. And, and then come see me in a year and usually people no longer meet criteria for those personality disorders if they do the treatment plan that I recommend. Anyway, if you do book a diagnostic evaluation, they're $100 off in my stand store. And I just encourage you, if you are working with a therapist, ask them, or if you're working with a psychologist, ask them to do a diagnostic evaluation with testing. And I do the Milan and it generates a 10 page interpretive report. And I love going over it with individuals and it's so insightful. So feel free to ask me any questions below.